So we're going to be reviewing with you a very effective routine you can use to help with low back, hip, and sciatic issues. So the first exercise we're going to be doing is called the shelf stretch. You're going to have a timer for a minute 30 on each leg on this exercise. And you're going to want to do this on your carpet, ideally, or if you have a, a mat like we have pictured here on a hardwood floor to make it more comfortable. So now we're going to demonstrate the shelf stretch. You're going to go on your stomach with the one leg bent at the knee with the knee on a small towel. And then slowly lower yourself all the way onto your stomach. And you're going to lay there as the timer goes making sure you feel a slight stretch in the groin area. You're gonna hold that a minute 30 each leg. Then when you're done, the timer goes off, you're gonna gently push your leg off the towel and straighten it back out, and then switch the towel to the other side and repeat. Bending the opposite knee, resting the knee on the towel, and then resting in this position shown here. Again, a minute 30. When the timer goes off, gently push your leg off the towel. And then you're gonna get your arms underneath you and you're gonna slowly press yourself back up into the next exercise, which we call McKenzie press-ups. So here you wanna raise up just the torso as high as you can in a pain-free manner or with the pain or tension levels that are less rated less than three out of 10, where a 10 would be the absolute worst pain imaginable. Throughout this exercise, you wanna keep your hip muscles and your hips pinned to the floor or the mat. You're gonna do a total of 10 repetitions, breathing in before you rise the chest up and breathing out as you rise your chest up. Once we finish 10 repetitions, we're gonna move into the next exercise, which we call the deep seated heel stretch, also known as child's pose. So here you're gonna push your body rounding the shoulders up, scoot your hips back till your butt gets resting onto your heels or as close as you comfortably can. You're gonna stay in this arched position and you're gonna stretch your arms forward taking five deep breaths total. After that, we're gonna move into what we call the modified shelf stretch. So this will be the same position as the first shelf stretch that we did in exercise one except the upper body is going to be raised up on the forearms that you're then going to use to support your upper body. And make sure to keep your hip, hips pinned to the floor or the mat. You're going to start with 30 seconds on each side and work your way up to one minute for each leg. Now, in between changing from one side to the other, you're going to be rolling yourself back up into the deep seated heel stretch or child's pose. So after you gently push the leg back, you're going to roll back into that deep seated heel stretch. Again, hold this five deep breaths, switch to the other side. Rest the knee onto the towel, go back down, remember resting on your forearms, and be in that position, 30 seconds on this side, eventually working yourself up to a minute on this side, just like you did on the other side. Once we finish there, we're gonna Gently push the leg off the towel, and you're gonna push yourself back up into this deep-seated heel stretch, or child's pose, one more time, for five deep breaths. 